Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. Um, my name is Golnush Farnadi, and I'm assistant professor at the School of Computer Science at McGill University. I am also core academic member at MILAB, Quebec AI Institute, which is the largest AI lab in the world. I am also one of the Canada CIFAR AI shareholders. Today, I want to discuss a critical issue that demands our attention, the risk of algorithm discrimination. Let me start with a question. So who knows what is algorithmic discrimination? Can you raise your hand? Yes. <laughs> Couple of people. Good, good. So the topic of algorithmic discrimination has become the driving force behind my career. And I'm eager to shed light on its importance. My journey into this field began during my PhD, where I focused on user profiling and personality prediction based on digital footprints. Upon completing my research, I was shocked when I um, approached by companies that they had the intention of using my model for hiring purposes. It was then that I realized the potential consequences of algorithm discrimination. Imagine a 50-year-old man, highly skilled, extrovert, um, who is perfect for a job for the extrovert, um, but who is missing out on job opportunities for extroverts simply because an AI model wrongly perceives him as an introvert due to his limited presence on social media. This is the alarming reality we face. Unfortunately, AI systems, despite their numerous benefits that we are going to hear today actually, are not immune to errors. Even small errors can have significant consequences on people's lives and harm individuals. In our increasingly AI-driven world, algorithms have considerable power. They determine who gets hired, who receives loans, who gets a house, who faces sentencing, and even who receives proper health care and correct diagnosis. Unfortunately, my research has revealed that real-world applications of AI model often fall short in terms of fairness. Let me provide some examples. Hiring ads tend to favor men for highly paid or technical roles. Facial recognition technology employed in predictive policing disproportionately targets and discriminates black communities. Risk assessment software used across courts shows higher risk for black people, leading to unjust sentencing. Credit cards are more easily approved for men. Disease diagnosis work poorly on the elderly, and this list goes on and on, which illustrates the profound inequalities extended by current AI models. To understand AI bias, we must grasp how AI learns. Modern AI system relies on vast amounts of data, historical records, human interactions, and societal patterns. But what happens when the data itself is biased? Unfortunately, bias within the data can influence the algorithms, resulting in biased outcomes. For instance, if historical hiring data reflects a preference for a certain gender or ethnicity, or if certain demographics are underrepresented in the data, the AI system may unintentionally amplify this bias by favoring a specific subpopulation in future hiring decisions. The unintentional consequence of AI bias can be far-reaching. Imagine an AI-powered resume screening tool that wrongfully rejects qualified candidates based on biased historical data. This extends discrimination in hiring and limits diversity in the workplace. It is a dangerous cycle that reinforces existing inequalities. Contrary to popular belief, collecting more data is not always a solution. Simply increasing the quantity of the data does not address the underlying issues and can potentially create additional problems such as power inequality, privacy issues, lack of local empowerment, limited solution diversity and control. The issue extends beyond bias data. Biases can infiltrate the very design of AI models, choices made during development, unconscious assumptions, and human biases can all find their ways into the models influencing the outcomes. This means that biases persist even if the data is improved. Many believe that regulation is the silver bullet, but it alone isn't sufficient. In fact, we do have laws against discrimination in protected domains, but we need more than just rules. 
consider safety critical fields like medicine, where precise standards and guidelines are exist. Similarly, we require comprehensive framework for AI development to ensure fairness and non-discrimination. And it is not going to happen overnight. Unfortunately, due to the speed of AI development and its dynamic nature, we are still far behind in understanding algorithmic harms. And we have yet to establish all the standards for deployment. So how we can address algorithmic discrimination? Awareness is a key. So the first step is to educate ourselves. I couldn't cover all aspects of algorithmic discrimination in this talk, but I hope more people raise their hand the next time someone asks this question, whether you heard about algorithmic discrimination. How to take action? As a business owner, we must take responsibility by auditing our AI systems, being transparent about their limitations, and actively working to reduce harm. It is crucial to stop deploying models that have not undergone true testing on all subpopulation. As consumers, we must exercise caution, not blindly trust algorithms, and demand more transparency from companies. And as policymakers, I'm not sure if you have policymakers here, we must advocate for standards that incorporate internal and external verification and auditing of AI models. This may require international effort to establish comprehensive guidelines. The existing narrative suggests that considering algorithmic fairness slows down business. This is very wrong. We must recognize the need for breaks to ensure both safety and speed. As inventors, demanding responsible AI solutions and promoting human-centered AI over profit will not only increase long-term profits because your service benefits more people, but also guarantee a safe and a bright future for our children. Believe me, when I say that we can create AI systems that eliminate inequality, however, our current reality is that we are blindly creating powerful AI systems that are dangerous to our society. It is up to us to change this trajectory. Remember, the power to combat algorithmic discrimination lies within each of us. Together, we can shape a world where AI empowers, uplifts, and celebrates the diversity of humanity. Thank you for your attention and for being part of this crucial conversation.